Are you a secretor or a non-secretor? Your blood type is made up of oligosaccharides, which are carbohydrates consisting of three to nine monosaccharides. Most people secrete their blood type into their saliva and other bodily fluids like sweat, tears, and the mucosa lining your intestines. But about 20% of people don't secrete their blood type. The FUT2 gene encodes the enzyme fucosyl transferase, which controls whether or not the oligosaccharides that make up your blood type will be expressed in your bodily fluids. So, if the FUT2 gene is not working correctly, you are a non-secretor of your blood type. Being a non-secretor affects how your body interacts with bacteria in your gut microbiome, which impacts your immune system. On the plus side, non-secretors tend to have lower amounts of bifidobacteria in their gut microbiome, and they are very unlikely to get sick from viruses like norovirus and rotavirus. However, non-secretors are also at an increased risk for type 1 diabetes, alcohol-induced pancreatitis, Crohn's disease, adverse outcomes in premature infants, and symptoms from E. coli infections. In infants, non-secretor mothers do not produce the two, FL oligosaccharide in their breast milk, which can affect the baby's microbiome. If you are a non-secretor, you may want to minimize the downside while enjoying the fact that you are unlikely to get the norovirus. You can check your 23andMe or Ancestry DNA raw data to determine if you are a secretor or non-secretor. Members of Genetic Life Hacks can access additional information and solutions in the Life Hacks section.